We're gonna have some pasta on the 4th of July. How about that? Pasta word. We're gonna make grilled pasta today. And it's a great recipe. Try it for one of your additions to your party or any of your summer events or cookouts, yeah. right? We're gonna use a nice cast iron pan, well seasoned. <laughs> it's kind of one of our old favorites, right? So we're gonna cook this on the grill. I'm, we have the grill warming up. We started yeah. it about propane what? or charcoal. I got propane. Propane. Fired up. And what's it set on? About low. Low. Okay, that's perfect for this. Rick, show them the pasta we're going to use. This is tricolored cheese tortellini. Rick was in the mood for some colored pasta, so yeah, I was thinking about colored spaghetti, but she said this is good. Yeah. And, and it's different colors because it's made of spinach and tomatoes, I imagine, right? That's right. <laughs> Green movie spinach. Are we having this for our 4th of July picnic too? Yeah. You know, well, Rick's idea of a picnic is eat all day long. And hot dogs and hamburgers. <laughs> so we got a lot of things that we're going to cook Maybe corn on the top. Yeah, we got some yeah, corn. We got a nice grill over here. It's propane and charcoal. You'll see that. Yeah, so for now we're going to use the propane side. We're going to use scallion green onions. We're going to use some nice chopped up garlic. It smells so good right yeah. now. Yeah. We're going to start it with a little olive oil. Nice piece of cheese there. What yeah. is that? Oh, my favorite. It's my favorite. <laughs> <laughs> Parmigiano Reggiano. <laughs> it comes from Wegmans. It gets more expensive every It's every pretty year, great. Right? Yeah, we're going to grate that on our pasta when we're done. Okay. And uh, we're going to use some nice pesto sauce after the pasta cooks. About All two right. cups of water with this, so I'll show delay. you. Let's get it going. Check out this grill. Oh, nice, huh? All right. Now, as Rick said, it's nice and hot. Yeah. So we're gonna first take our cast iron pan and start warming it up. I'm yeah. gonna let that warm up for about three or four minutes. I better get some pot holders. Yeah, we need some pot holders too. Right. Hot. Okay. Yeah. We'll be right back. All right, this is the Wegmans pasta we're using. Uh, Rick showed you the, the colors, but it's made with ricotta and mozzarella. So we're going to open up here. The pan's getting hot, and I'm just going to put a little squirt of olive oil in here so that nothing sticks. Mm. All right, as the oil starts to heat up, we're going to add some of this nice chopped garlic. We're not being shy on the garlic today because there's also garlic in the pesto sauce. So That's good. Simmer that. Pesto word. And then I have some chopped up green onions. I'm going to put that in here too. It's going to add all kinds of flavor. Mm. Just that much is going to smell good. Yeah, not just to the topping, but it's going to cook the flavor through the tricolored pasta. All right, we had to switch gas tanks here because we ran out of propane. But I want to show you, look at the sizzle going on here. This is exactly how we want this to be when we add the pasta. A little bit of oil in there, and the veggies are simmering. So, we're going to get the pasta in. Now this is a refrigerated pasta. It's not cooked, but it's fresh. It's not frozen. All right, we'll spread that out. Break them apart if you have any stuck together. You can use a ravioli or Ooh. any other kind of. I taste that one. No, it's not cooked yet. It has eggs in it and stuff, That's so all right. we don't want to eat that raw. Sure. Now, I'm gonna take two cups of water. And normally, we would boil this pasta on the stove top and discard the extra water. But we'd use like a couple quarts of water. Now we're using two cups. We're gonna let that simmer and we're gonna come and stir it every once in a while. Okay. Ready, we'll close the lid. But we need to go get some fresh basil out of our garden. Oh yeah, all right. So let's go down and pick some basil and that's what we're gonna top it with after we get it in our bowls. All right, we're going to pick some fresh basil to go in our recipe today. So we have it growing out here in our garden. Let's go get a couple of fresh sprigs. Mm. Can we eat them now? we got to be careful because the garden's growing. 
bigger beautifully. and bigger. Beautifully. Yeah. We got all kinds of stuff in here. Oh, should we take some sage too? Mm -hmm. for, I didn't know what that was. Maybe we'll take a little sage for later. Can I take a bite now or something? Let's take a little sage for our recipe Can I too. Smell it? Oh, you're gonna love that smell. I like the different smell better. Okay. <laughs> this I tastes mean, like cilantro or something. <laughs> yeah. Now we're gonna take look at this nice fresh basil here. I'm gonna take a nice piece of that to garnish our pasta dish when mm. we're finished. Oh, you like that smell, right? Yeah. Yeah. That's, That's good. good. It smells like an air freshener. No tomatoes yet. Over here, look. They're coming oh, along. Oh, we've got a lot of green ones. That's good. Yeah, we have a lot of good stuff in here. We have green beans, we have squash, we have cucumbers. Oh, we have all kinds of things. We have squirrels to sneak in. All right, let's go back yeah, up to look, the grill. See this here? This is our squash blossoms. And the squirrels, as you can see, are sneaking in the fence and oh, eating them. We have all the stuff around the I edges. I know, I was hoping they wouldn't do that, but we'll keep growing. All right, back to the grill. <laughs> This is what we brought up from the garden, some nice fresh basil. I'm just going to tear the leaves so we're ready to put it on top of our dish. And make it look pretty and taste good. Now while we were in the garden, we also found some nice sage leaves. I'm actually going to chop these up a little bit and we're going to put them right in the dish that's cooking as soon as I open it to stir it. We rinsed them off when you brought them up. Yeah, I washed them. You can see they're wet. This adds some nice sage flavor. Mm. Oh boy, the smell when you pick your fresh vegetables right out of the garden. Oh, there's nothing better. All right, let's go and check on it and stir it anyway. And then we'll throw this in. Boy, it's, it's starting to really cook. Let's just turn them around a little. Start for the sage in. Turn it all around. And that way all the pasta gets nice and moist as it cooks. And we want to cook it until the water comes pretty much down to nothing. And that's where we're going to add the basil pesto. <laughs> Yay. Yay, grilled pasta. All right, mm. let's close it up again. <laughs> now we're using the Classico traditional basil pesto. You can see it has a lot of olive oil in there. It has garlic and basil chopped up. Oh God, this is one of my favorite brands. But I have this nice new popper to open my lids so that they're not so rough on my wrist. Yeah, oh, Kayla, thank you for sending us this. It really saves our hands. <laughs> <laughs> we had it a couple days, we used it a lot already. Right. So we're, we're going to stir that up. I'm going to stir it up that a little good bit. Too. Yeah, it's a full jar. Got olive at, oil. Olive oil. Look at that garlic in there and the pesto, the basil leaves. Oh, this is going to be so flavorful. All right, we're going to mm. sit this here until the pasta is done cooking the water off. But we're all ready to go. Yep. We're going to taste it too, right? Oh yeah. We're going to taste it. I'm still here. Eee. Hungry. That water's cooking now. The reason I picked the tortellini is because it was most likely to stay shut. Like if we're using ravioli, it might be more fragile. Yeah. I think I could eat it right now. Yeah. It's so nice and soft. It's getting there. Okay, once again, we're going to stir this. You can see the water's starting to cook down, but it's bubbling nicely. Oh, this looks beautiful. Okay, we'll be back in a minute. All right, I got a job. I'm going to put the pesto in. Don't get it on your flame. Because it's oil. Like pesto? Mm. I do. Get it all out. Ooh, it's a lot of that. 
Like to lick the bowl. Uh -huh. Stir it around. It's hot in there. Stir it all over so it all gets covered. Can I taste it now? Just cook it for a little bit. All right. Looks great. Yep. All right, why don't we close the cover and shut the heat off? Close the lid, turn off the burners, and let it rest. Mmm, delicious. All right, here we go. Now mm. it's been simmering a little bit with just the heat of the hot grill. Cooking is done. You can look down into the bottom, you can see it's only sauce now. It's not full of water anymore. How beautifully that worked. Now we're just going to take a little bit of tortellini out here to try it because we're going to eat most of this later on in the day. But we wanted to show you what we were making. So I'm going to keep the grill cover closed to keep everything warm. And we get to taste it, right? We're going to taste it. I'm going to add some toppings now. Mm, Let's okay. go over to the table. Here we are. Uh, All right. Close by. And we're going to add these little torn up pieces of fresh basil from the garden. All right. and that really brings out a nice smell. Then I'm going to grate some of the Parmigiano Reggiano here. Nothing like some nice fresh cheese on top, right Rick? Yep. We're just going to sit down and have a taste yeah, while you're still here. We're going to save some for lunchtime, right? Yeah. <laughs> oh, I got my own fork. <laughs> All right, we're tasting the pasta. Mm. We're going to have this with the cookout, right? Yeah, a pasta picnic. Mm. <laughs> Okay, there's a sample of our holiday cookout. Andy work. Mmm. We could put meat in there too, right? Yeah, meat. I was thinking we could put zucchini in there. We could put broccoli, some kind of meat that you would like. It's a nice recipe. Enjoy your holiday. Thanks, thanks for, for joining us. Yeah, thanks for watching. Please pass the word. <laughs> Please subscribe. Please. <laughs> Room for the hamburgers and hot dogs. <laughs> 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 <laughs>